Hello everyone and welcome to a new short tutorial on Maya and I was kind of busy at the last days because I'm <coughs> um, learning a few stuff, few new stuff that I'm not familiar with and which um, will help me in order to improve some of my sh um, shaders skills um, or how shaders w should look like in uh, different light setups uh, or for what uh, some kind of objects um, how you adjust shaders to look like um, on top of them so basically um, the point of this tutorial is to um, show you how to create a double sides uh, shader okay so uh, I created an example here, a very uh, basic example, uh, which um, I decided to create just uh, some kind of HDR I, uh, background um, map or background, whatever, and just a regular light here, point light or ambient light, and this is a, just a basic poly plan and now if uh, I will render this you can see that from this point of view it's yellow and if I will turn to the other side of this you can see that here it's red okay so this is basically what we are going to learn and it's uh, actually very simple so just for uh, a basic idea what what you can use with it um, let's say for instance you would like to um, you know create uh, books with papers double sides papers and or any leaves uh, which in this case this is uh, how I learned to create this uh, node and also there are plenty of reasons why you should use um, two sides um, node like this and basically I think that the most important thing that uh, it gives you uh, like uh, using um, somehow to reduce the poly count of your uh, models okay so you don't have to create a thickness to things in order to bring them to different um, colors or texture so yes also texture so you can uh, at the same time choose to uh, instead of using basic RGB colors uh, adding a texture for whatever will be your um, the, the thing that you are modeling okay so let's just start by creating a very simple polyplane okay and I will tap on 5 just to give it a sh basic shader uh, the default shader gray and you can see it's uh, gray and what we will do we will go over window and first of all uh, switch to mental ray because we are going to use a mental ray node uh, in order to do this so just make sure you are at mental ray and maybe uh, that's it you don't need anything else go over window um, hyper shade and let's see what we can do from here uh, the first the first thing is to take create like one bling and change the color for it okay so let's use this time blue and let's create another node of bling and let's change this one to green okay so there we have two different nodes and we want to um, combine them into one shader that represent both sides uh, like both colors to this 
polyplane uh, each for one side okay so the thing is to go over mental ray and go over sample compositing sample compositing and choose this MIB two side node okay you put it here down to both of them by the way you can uh, move in this area um, exactly as you move in this with the same hotkeys okay so zoom in zoom out or move them to the side uh, while holding the alt um, key okay so um, now let's choose this one with the middle mouse wheel okay and drop it on top of this uh, MIB two side then choose default or other okay now from here um, you will see this box and what you need to do you need to uh, check the output of the blin okay this blue blin okay so we need to um, take the out value okay out value okay so sometimes you need to uh, okay the out color okay so the out color yeah the out color is and just choose in which side you want it so you clicked on this then click this and close it so now this one is connected to this and you can see the color here now let's do the same for the back let's uh, right click um, middle mouse wheel click on this one and hold and drag on top of this choose other and let's choose the out color here okay and choose the back from here okay by the way um, always make sure that you uh, click here on the left display which is this show hidden and for the right display also show hidden because sometimes when you're dealing with this connection editor uh, some things are not appear to uh, be here uh, so just click on both of them to make sure that you can see ev all the connections that belong to those nodes okay then click close now you apparently think that now that we only need to assign this node on top of this one okay but that's ain't right so let's close this and let's undo this okay uh, right click on top of it won't give you any uh, sign uh, to object okay sign to an object so what what you need to do is very simple you go over surfaces here under Maya tab and choose a surface shader okay so let's bring it over here and now hold down uh, your mouse uh, middle wheel click and drag on top of this and choose other now let's look at this um, you need to choose the out value of the output which is this one the output of the out value of this and connect it to the um, out color of this now pay no attention for this uh, stupid thing you see here this all uh, color mixed together um, it's, it may be uh, just some uh, bug with my I'm not sure but now you can assign this node to this okay so let's select our polyplane assign material to selection and there you go you have it uh, ready just need to check this so that's um, sorry I need some kind of light source here so let's create ambient and let's see so this is the blue okay and if I will turn to this this is the green okay now all those black areas it's because I put the light over there so if I will only bring it up over here <coughs> that will fix this okay and the blue 
So there you go. It's that easy and it works with mental ray. Uh, I'm sure that it could work with uh, also uh, any on in Maya software engine, but render engine. But you probably will need to choose uh, uh, any other node for this kind of uh, uh, action to create this thing. Okay, so. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this short part tutorial. Uh, it's really on the go. Uh, I don't really have time to create those, but um, it's it helps me a lot to also make memos for my own, and apparently also for most of you who watch my videos. So that's it. Have fun, enjoy, and do something new every day make sure that you study a bit and uh, give more attention to your own creation more than uh, only studying things because um, it's better to take something start creating it and um, at the same time learn few other methods on how to improve your creation and that way you would love to work with Maya instead of every time creating things that aren't yours or it's not your not from your imagination or or whatever okay that's it have fun have a good day we'll see you soon